Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin here again, and we got part two of the how to make a professional 2D background with a techie theme to it. And we're gonna start from where we left off with the um, with um, the layer adjustment stuff on the shapes that we put in and stuff like that. So yeah, and uh, if you guys are watching this from part two, please go back to part one because we had a lot of important stuff that we added in. So yeah, let's get started on this and dive right into it. Um, first of all, um, if you guys could please select this mid layer right here with the gradient on it and we're just going to change um, some of the settings on it um, different from the first video and we're just going to lower the bevel and boss depth to 1% size and soften to 0 on um, both of them and everything else the same so it just changes it a little and makes it look better and now um, so now we're going going to make a new layer and we're just going to put that under the content area we're just going to get a rectangle and we're just going to get a sor sort of uh, mild dark gray darker than what we have up here and we're just going to make the rectangle right there just going to adjust it a little all right so now we're just going to add a uh, drop shadow on it distance as zero size at 10 spread at 5% and opacity at 50% and then now we're going to add a bevel emboss we're going to put the depth at 1 we're going to put the size at 0 and we're going to keep everything the same alright so now we're just going to spread this out a little so we don't see the edges the effects and that's good alright so now we're just going to add some texture to this so I'm just going to do a uh, file place and I already have some textures up here <clears throat> if you guys are looking for some good textures I have um, <clears throat> my pack and also if you guys know blue arts he re released like a 10k pack that has really good textures in it for these kind of backgrounds and um, I sort of got the idea of um, how to make this background you know I, I didn't I figured out how by myself and stuff so yeah so these textures are really nice um yeah so now we're just going to get this sort of pixelated texture. Now you guys can use any texture that you want that you think looks good. So um, yeah, any texture is fine that you think will look good with this kind of background. So now I'm just going to rotate these really quickly and just going to make a copy. If you guys, a tip, a quick tip, when you're copying things over, that's the exact same thing hold alt or on a mac is um it's option so alt or option and just drag it over hold it though and then um it just makes another copy on a new layer and it's really fast and easy so now we're just going to select these two layers the two textures that we picked and we're going to merge the layers be sure to rasterize them first by right clicking and going to rasterize layers or else you won't really be able to erase it or um, do anything so now we have the two layers merged, and I'm just going to lower the opacity to around 25 really quickly. It's temporary, and we're going to get the rectangle marquee tool, and one sec. We're going to get the rectangle marquee tool, and we're just going to delete the um, top part and the bottom part of the texture that overlays like that and then we're going to put them uh, put it under mid three and um, we're just going to put it under mid three and now we're just going to put the opacity back up at a hundred and um, uh, depending on what color you use um, you're gonna have to do a different kind of overlay so you can do um, like this thing up here you can do overlay or screen or um darken or multiply <clears throat> it just mess around with it and it's it's different for every um background so i'm just going to do darken and i'm going to lower the opacity to around 50 or 75 percent um probably 50 percent where i can still see the textures and not have it too dark all right so now we're going to um, get another texture, but this time we're going to keep it on the top, 
and we're gonna do next place and um, just pick any texture you want again and um, yeah alright so I'm just going to sort of get like a grid sort of um, texture and let me zoom in so I can see what it looks like and yeah that's good that's good that's good alright um, now we're just going to rotate it rotate it counterclockwise or any clockwise you want and we're gonna do that enter alright so now we're gonna make copies of these really quickly uh, they should snap in place it's what I really like about Photoshop you know it's very accurate and it snaps in place for y'all alright so now we're just going to select all these rasterize layers merge layers and then now we're going to lower the opacity again I don't know why I'm talking like this but okay and we're just going to delete the bottom part up to this mid part because we're gonna have this texture overlay the two top layer the three top layers that we've created and we're just going to delete that bottom part so now that we um, it doesn't overlay this part alright so now we're going to move this up a little Let's scooch it up a little. Uh, make sure it's not covering that um, drop shadow because we want to see that effect. And we're just going to put it at, uh, let's put it at darken. Hey, darken. Hmm. Uh, does, does it show up? Because sometimes if you do a different sort of um, style, it, it won't show up. So um, I'm just going to multiply on this. This looks good. You can see the textures. And if you guys don't want to add any textures, it's completely looks good at, um, without the textures as well. It adds more a metalish, metallic look to it, and it actually looks pretty nice. So yeah. So now, as you can see, we have all the textures here, and it looks pretty good. All right. <clears throat> so now, since we have all the textures, we're just going to add all the sort of um, little bits to it, like. Uh, texts and stuff if I, um, and probably one more texture at the bottom um, so we're just going to do place any texture you want again uh, I'm just going to do uh, this one this one yeah this one um, just gonna do just going to put it like that like that and I'm going to stretch it a little Stretch it a little out so it fills in that area. We're just going to copy it over, and then uh, let's see if this is lined up. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to rasterize these layers, and then merge layers, and then you don't need to cut anything out. You just line it up with the top, and then uh, any blending mode you want. See, as you can see, I put it at dark and it doesn't show, so you just gotta mess around with it. I'm just gonna put multiply. Alright. So now, we've got all the textures set up, and now we're just going to add the little stuff, you know, the text, um, the other effects, the nav bar. Nav bar is pretty important, and yeah. <clears throat> So in this tutorial, I'm also going to show you guys how to make a nav bar that looks like a um, techie na a navigation bar. Um, there's also packs for it, which um, is kind of stupid because graphic design is all about creating your own custom stuff from scratch. And, um, you know, I, I feel like graphic packs sort of get rid of that purpose, but not like texture packs and color corrections and stuff. You know, that stuff is handy. So yeah, uh, any hoozles. Um, Alright, so, now we're going to make a new layer on top of everything else, and we're just going to get a rounded rectangle tool. You can use the regular rectangle tool too, too as well, but I like how the rectangle tool looks like. So, we're just going to make this part all the way to the end. Make it like this. Make it around that size. And you can use like gray or white, doesn't really matter. And now we're going to add a f uh, blending options, layer styles to it. So, we're going to add a drop shadow. We're going to make the drop shadow size at 10. And then we're going to put the opacity at 50. And that's it. And then we're going to add a bevel embossment. 
and we're going to put the depth at 1, size at 0, uh, hold on, yeah, size at 0, and then soften at 4, and then, um, actually, we're going to, we're going to make this lighter, the gray doesn't work, it just doesn't work, we're going to make a, Sort of gray like that. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, so we got this whitish. It's not white, white. It's like a darker white. It's not that dark, but it's like a, a white. Alright, and we're going to make the distance 0, size 10, and then the opacity at 50. Alright, and then now we're going to add the gradient. And we're going to change the gradient type to this last one. It should be, um, a gray to transparent and then we're going to press that and then we're going to make the scale to 50 if you want like a more more like uh, solid look you could put the scale to like 25 and then the opacity to 25 or 20 but we're going to keep it at we're going to put it at 50 or 100 whatever you think looks good I'm going to put it at 75 all right, so we have it at 75, we have the opacity at 25. And then now we're going to add a stroke. And the stroke is going to be a white one. And then the size at 1. And then we're going to put the opacity to 25. And then we're going to add a we're going to add a inner glow. I'm pretty sure we had an inner, inner glow. Inner glow for I believe so. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, no, no, no inner glow, guys. No inner glow. All right. So this looks good right now. Like that. You can probably adjust the size a little if you want. Of course, if you want. This is your background, your creativityness. All right. So. We have this. I'm just going to adjust the size a little. All right, all right, all right. So now we have this right here, and um, <clears throat> add the lower there. All right. So now we have this, and we're going to make another layer under that layer, under that layer, and then uh, we're going to add the last part to this navigation bar. All right. And we're going to make another rectangle. Now make this rounded rectangle sort of a darker white we're going to put it over like this we're going to make it go around like that like that and then let me add a stroke so you guys can see how I did it like that alright so now we're gonna add a stroke we're gonna make the size uh, to one and we're going to change the color to white and then the opacity to 50 and then now the inner shadow, we're going to add an inner shadow, and the distance is going to be a size of 10, 10, and then the choke of 5, and then the opacity of 50 or 75, it doesn't really matter, whatever you guys like and jiggles your titties, yeah, um, that was weird, but yeah, alright, so, we have that straightened out. And, um, that's probably going to be the last part to this nav bar. So it adds, like, a really nice indent effect to this thing. And, uh, we're actually going to put it under all the layers. So it has, the, um, that effect on the, it has that textury stuff on the, on the indent. We're going to put it like that. Alright, so, uh, I know it does, uh, it doesn't look complete right now, but I'm gonna have to stop the video right here, and we're gonna have to do part three. Uh, I know we didn't do too much, but we added all the textures, we added the nav bar, um, we also added this bottom part, um, so yeah, um, hopefully you guys have all this right here. If you guys have any comments or questions, please do it in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to subscribe so you know when the next part is going to be out. Or if you just want to stop by to watch some awesome speed arts next time, alright? So, have a nice day, everybody. And just, just, yeah, just be safe and have fun with this. Peace.